So I'm back on Liberty Mountain and uh, I'm not going to show you the snowflakes, that's his up there. And we've already done Dirty Ridge, so we won't be doing that. Got a bicycle is coming. So we're just going down this road and we're going to hit that alternate path. And uh, let's have some fun. So here we go, Monogram Road, 1.6 miles, current location K5. I don't even have my map with me today. I wonder what this deep hollow one half marathon, and then this has Valley View five mile, or I don't know what all that's about. But uh, I assume these are probably events that they hold during the year or something. But uh, so we're just gonna get a, get a hike in, probably about a two hour hike today, uh, just because uh, I've, unfortunately I was at the bank uh, trying to take care of my mom's finances all day and then paid her a visit up at uh, Liberty Ridge. I know that don't mean anything to you, but uh, at least we're out hiking. That's that's the main thing. And boy, I sure do need to get my head on straight. I'm, I'm sick of this whole situation here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I just want to go home to Florida. But here you can kind of see Liberty University off in the distance. Look at the massive, that is one massive university, isn't it? Way back over here. Holy moly. All right, so we'll get uh, when I get to a trail that we'll, you haven't seen before because you've seen Monogram Road in a previous video. We'll uh, we'll get a, start getting uh, film when we get there. So we got three or four trails to pick from here, and I'm not that far down Monogram Road. You got the Looney. That sounds uh, like a tough hike. I'm seeing that, and you got 1971 here. But I think what I'm going to do is go up here and let's see what this is. I think this is the, uh, what does it say? All right, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do peak to peak. That sounds interesting. Let's do peak to peak. Like I said, you can hike around back here on this mountain for days and days and days. I mean, it's just insane. I mean, look at that, three, three trails and we're just, we're just picking one because I just want to kind of go off in this direction rather than, because those trails might just take me back to the, to the snowflakes. And I, I know this one's moving away. So let's keep on going. So once again, should have brought the walking stick. It's kind of a rocky path, this peak to peak. You can see that other one look more just like a dirt path. <clears throat> thing I wanted though, I wanted to get the heart rate up. So we are going up the mountain, but naturally I didn't wear the doggone hikers again. I just had my tennis shoes on. So this, uh, if you're walking on these rocks, it gets to your feet after a while. But you can kind of see the trail. Yeah, it's a nice. I'm enjoying the day. I mean, luckily I've got some good weather here today. Holy moly. I mean, I, I guess uh, by the time I get back to Florida, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go hiking. It's because it's going to be so doggone hot. But uh, anyway, well, let's keep on going. So I'm going to make a guess. I think we might have just gone over the first peak. And I have a feeling we're going to go all the way back down the mountain. And then maybe climb up that side of the mountain over there. But uh, the, the footing's kind of tricky here. Like I said, hikers and a walking stick is definitely recommended for this trail. And I have neither as usual because I'm an idiot. But um, anyway, this uh, got to take it nice and slow going down the mountain here. And we got another trail coming up here in just a minute. All right, so peak to peak just brought us back to uh, Monogram Road. And then of course it continues up that. So that's why it's peak to peak because yeah, I guess you're gonna go up to another peak of the mountain. There's a tractor. Now we've come down, uh, we've done Champion Road in the past. That's 1.7 miles right there. Um, but there's a there's a trail that this is called the alternate flight path and from what I can tell it's just, just going to crisscross um, Champion Road. So we're going to do this for a little while and then uh, and, and then I might uh, if I see another trail because I want to get back in the forest. I mean I'm tired of hiking next to Monogram Road and looking at the university. You know me I want to get I want to get deep into the forest here. So this is this is alternate flight pattern 1.4 miles. And from what I could tell the last time coming down Champion Road, it's just going to crisscross Champion Road. And that's why it's just giving you an alternate flight pattern to Champion Road. And that's, but we'll find out. Well, let's check it out. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at down there. That's, this is why. And there's another trail. <laughs> I wonder what that trail is down there. Man, I tell you, you could just hike around back here forever. I mean, it's just great. All right, let's keep going. 
So this is pretty cool. It's quite a quite a steep trail. Definitely want a walking stick for this alternate flight pattern. You know, who knows what's underneath these leaves. I've got to take it nice and slow. I think I'm still on the trail. <laughs> you know, this doesn't look like a well-traveled trail. Let's just put it that way. Current location, I-7, whatever that means. I'd like I said, I didn't bring the map today, but it's going to... I'm going, I'm going downhill, uh, and I have been for a while, so I imagine it's going to get a, a steep, a steep hike back up the mountain. This is kind of what it's looking like. So, and look at this uh, the hill on that side. I'm trying to get through these leaves because, like I said, and it looks like it never, looks like I got a stream I got across here. Now that's going to be interesting. Okay, here we go. So, uh, alternate flight pattern is just basically hike, hiking next to. Well, I'm not sure if you can call it a, a creek. It looks more like a ditch. And, but I always try to get the interesting stuff on the video. Look, what's the point of that orange sign being out here in the middle of the woods? I don't know. But uh, you can kind of see. Uh, it's uh, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to slip and fall on this trail. That, that's what I'm, my point is, because you're really hiking along the side of the mountain here. Uh, definitely not well traveled for sure. All right, let's let's keep on going. So this is always cool. And that's what I'll talk about is Liberty Mountain maintains these trails. I swear that this the way this thing's bent. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it's well maintained. Let's uh let's see. I, I, ooh, I don't know. Don't break on me, don't break on me, don't break on me. All right, okay, I think it I think it, yeah, I made it. All right. Woo! That, that thing just felt like it was gonna snap right in half. Now I'm probably exaggerating, but it just felt like it was. So now we're back on the other side of the creek and uh, just moving along through the forest. It, beautiful hike, but uh, it's a, a brutal but tough hike and a, not a well-traveled trail. I, I'm sure I won't see anybody today hiking on this trail. Too bad the camera wasn't on. <laughs> because <laughs> I, I just fell down I stepped on a root underneath those leaves and my feet just slid right out from underneath me so uh you know that's uh when you're traveling a trail I mean let's see look I mean this is this is nothing right here but I mean uh you know that's, that's the problem with these leaves when nobody's been traveling the trail you can step on a rock step on a root like that right there you know that's uh without a walking stick see if I'd had a walking stick I wouldn't and then you know you don't want to fall over into there so it's uh Got to take it slow here. And so you can see uh, it's just kind of wandering along by this, uh, well, I want to call it a creek, but it's not really just a ditch. So, but we are, but we are back here. I mean, this is good. I, if you want to get back in the forest, this is a good trail for you. Well, I thought this was cool to get it on the video. Little uh, natural bridge over top of the ditch. And so now we're moving back over to the left side of the ditch and now I'm being a lot more careful in these leaves, so it's slowing me down. I'm not going to get my a good exercise today. Uh, well, who knows? It might start going back up the mountain, and then my heart rate will get up. But yeah, you know, I don't want to fall down again. I, you know, you hit an arm on a rock, or uh, luckily I just fell up the mountain, so that was no big deal. And I uh, probably scraped up my arm a bit. But uh, this is what it's looking like. It's, if I see something unique, I'll, I'll cut the video on, but I think it's just going to be more of the same. Uh, it's, an, it's an interesting trail, for sure. So I thought this was kind of a different look. You know, I'm hiking along the trail. I mean, you can still see the ditch over here, but... Uh, um, you know, one of the things that I just was thinking about is, you know, I mean, like I said, there's so many trails here. Who are the people? that scouted out these trails. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I I mean, it's one thing just to walk a trail, but it's another to figure out where you're gonna put a trail. I mean, I can't imagine, you know, how they knew where to put these trails, you know. I mean, uh, it's a, it's an amazing feat and to have so many of them. I mean, I, I, I guess you're looking at topographical maps and that sort of thing. I don't know, I don't know how they did it, did it but I, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, you can kind of see we're way back here. I mean, we're, we're back in the woods. In fact, I'll, I'll be quiet for just a second. Hold on. And see, here's what I'm talking about. I mean, think about the amount, the amount of work to lay this trail out. Here, we got another bridge that we're going to go across. Uh, I, this one I have confidence in because I saw the supports underneath it. You know, I mean... I, 
who the hell maintains all this stuff and, and figured out where these trails are going? Hey, it looks like we're coming up on another trail. I wonder if that's psychopath. Because <laughs> not doing that. Well, here come, coming up on another bridge. Man, look at that. Wow, that's just, this is going to be interesting. I, this is where a walking stick would come in handy. I'm not sure this is going to be an easy bridge to cross. Hold on. Okay, this is the Looney. 0.5 miles, and I think that would just take us back to uh, Monogram Road, so we're not going to go that direction. I mean, I did get a late start, and, you know, I can't, uh, I'm going to have to start working my way back. Let's see what we got here. So here's alternate flight pattern going this way. I think that's just going to go up to Champion Road. I'm going to continue on down deeper into the woods. Let's see what, I see another couple signs down there, and let's, let's see what this, this is down here. Hold on. So you kind of see these every now and then. It's a cable with the with the yellow pipe, and it says preservation area. I mean, what do they think? Somebody's going to jump in the water there? I mean, is there some sort of weird animal that that lives in this area? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but I think I'm recognizing this. I think we've been here before. I think I'm going to go back and hit alternate flight pattern. Let's see what we're on. K8. We're in location K8. This might be the trail that I did uh, the last time. So we'll head back and do, uh, well, we got, uh, well, there's Psychopath, okay. That, that takes us back to the Snowflake. And this is Deer Trail, okay. So we've done this before. So I'm gonna go back and get it back on the alternate flight pattern. Um, and let's uh, let's get there. We, we got this on a previous video, okay. So alternate flight path took, a, going, going up the mountain now, took a left. Which is good, I'm getting my heart rate up. But I think this is just gonna go up to Champion Road and that'll be the, the next video. As you can see, it's a, still a beautiful, beautiful hike. Enjoying it. So I just hiked up the side of a mountain on alternate flight pattern and I was right, cause it came back to Champion Road and the reason we knew that is we hiked along here and I kept seeing alternate flight pattern and it's gonna continue up the side of the mountain. And then I think it'll come back down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break and just walk down Champion Road for a bit. So uh, well, that was a cool looking tree. Look at that big knot on that tree right there. Woo! That's, uh, that got the heart rate up. That's that's good. And you can see we're coming up on some some other trails down here. I'll see what they are. So we've got three trails that we're crossing here. Now here's one that's not well maintained. I'm trying to get up to it. I mean, you wouldn't have never guessed this was a trail unless you saw the sign. I just want to see this is what the trail looks like. So that, yeah, there you go, alternate flight pattern. So it comes down to the road here. There's Champion Road. And then we got another trail coming down here. Let's see what that is. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. There's a sign right here. Ooh, I'm trying to be careful of stepping through these leaves. Don't want to fall down again. So here, this is there's alternate flight pattern. So, you know, it's, it's just crisscrossing Champion Road here. It's a, you know, like I said, I'm gonna take it easy for a while. Let's just go down Champion Road and see, see what this next trail is. So here's, here's the next trail, Psychopath. Now, from the map, if you recall, it'll head over to Monogram Road. And so coming back, we'll just take that uh, just, to, just to vary things up and, uh, so, but I want to just get some hiking in at this point and, I, you know, speed up, get up to about three miles an hour and just hike down the road here at this point. So just a ways down from uh, Psychopath, you can see that alternate flight pattern is uh, going to the left and right. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to take it because I'm not getting much exercise. Ah, let's just keep on Champion Road. I want to see the other side of the mountain and we can make, we can make good time on Champion Road maybe on the way back. Well, we're gonna take Psychopath because uh, it's gonna get too late on me. I got a, got a late start. I wish I had all day, but I don't. So I'm kind of getting to the back side of the mountain here. Thought I'd just get you the view. Isn't that beautiful? Looking out from uh, Champion Road. So I just wanted to go a ways down here because I haven't really been on this side of the mountain. So uh, this is pretty cool. But I thought that I seeing that off in the distance and, you know, I'm, I wonder if there's probably trails over there too. Who knows? Well, this is, uh, 
it's just beautiful back here. I tell you, what a resource uh, Lynchburg, Virginia has with uh, if they you know keep this preserved. I hope they don't develop it someday, and you know who knows. So I wanted to just take another clip here. Because, you know, the thing I'm liking about this Champion Road hike is you kind of go on along the peak of the mountain. You can see it kind of goes down to the left and down to the right. So you're getting these breathtaking views, even if they are through the trees. You know, there's another orange sign in the woods. I wonder what that's about. And, uh, I mean, that's as uh, if you just wanted an easy hike, uh, just to hike down Champion Road, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool going along the ridge here, you know, so it's... Uh, this is this is quite nice. I'm glad that uh, I mean it's not all about killing yourself on a tough trail. Sometimes sometimes you just want to come out and enjoy an easy hike like this. This is very nice. Anyway, I thought I'd take another clip real quick. Uh, problem with this hike is that I'm going down the mountain instead of up the mountain. <laughs> Excuse me. Dang on it. And uh, so the hike back is going to be kind of tough going up the mountain, but uh, maybe it'll, maybe like, looks like it's going to loop around and maybe go back up on this other side over here. That'll be interesting. Can you see that house way up there on top of the mountain? But imagine who owns that house. That'd be one hell of a place to have up on top of a mountain. But we'll, we'll keep on rolling here. It's, uh, I'm enjoying the day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. So we crossed this. On a, on a different hike, but you can see that this is uh, called split decision. And uh, boy, I tell you, you could come, you know, if you came back and just hiked the Champion Road to right here, and you could get a good hike on split decision. But I want to finish off Champion Road today, and then uh, some, but I think I will come back and, tr well, if we, if I'm out this way again, I don't know. Well, actually, I will be for sure. Maybe I'll just come down and do split decision because that'd be interesting. I've never been on this this side of the mountain before you know all of my hiking's been in this direction so but uh let's just see where champion road comes out so here's another orange sign down in the woods if you know what that is leave a comment below i'd be curious as to why there's just an orange sign off in the woods like that but uh i've been going down for quite some time so this is going to be actually a tough hike going back um so and I, I don't know, the yeah, sun's pretty, still pretty high in the sky. And, you know, even if you had to hike this road in the dark, it wouldn't be too bad, you know. So uh, not too concerned about it. But I do want to get that psychopath and on the way back. I, I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, just, just, just making another clip as I go down the mountain here. But it's a gradual down, you know. You're not climbing up, uh, you know, really tough, tough slope, but... Still, I hate, I hate having to go up on the way back. So it might be coming to the end of Champion Road. You can see that some sort of huge construction project's going on to my left here, but the road's continuing on this way. I want to get over there and see what they're doing. I bet it's another probably addition to Liberty University. Man, I tell you, they got the, they got the facilities, they got everything. Let's get over there. Let's see where the road goes. So I'm crossing a path but who knows what the name of it is because there's no sign and uh, I want to see what this construction project is I did. at the same time I wanted to go all the way to the end of Champion Road but let's get let's let's follow this path and just see if it takes us over to the construction site because let's get a look at that that'd be a uh, pretty cool and, and who knows what path I'm on I I mean it's obviously marked no motorized vehicles and you know you can you can clearly see that it's a path of some sort so here's what the construction site looks like. The path did bring me down here. Uh, I mean, you got this little teeny fence, but I'm just wondering what in the world is it going to be, you know? I mean, if, if, if it almost looks like maybe they're putting in a road, but I mean, that could be like a, a bridge right there. I don't know. I know mean, it's a massive construction site. And then there's, a, there's another view of the house that's on top of the mountain. Or uh, maybe that's might might be the Snowflakes complex. I don't know because maybe I walked all the way around the mountain. So and then of course you got the tower up there at the top. But this is what it looks like. And here's another orange sign that says RW. I don't, let's see what this symbol is on the on the sign. I, and now that I can get up get up close and personal to it, it just says uh, Army ROTC 
RW. Well, maybe they play war games back here. That that would make sense, and that, maybe that's what the iron signs are about. And doing a little land navigation or something. All right, let's uh, let's get back on it now. The trail is going to loop on this way, and I have a feeling or, I mean, this could be split decision, you know, right here, because it's heading on that direction. So um, I'm going to go on back up the Champion Road. I just wanted to see that construction site, because this, if this is probably just going to loop around and come back to Champion Road, I'm just guessing. You know, we won't know until we hike it one day. But anyway, at least we got to see that construction site. Let's get back on Champion Road. All right, that's it for Champion Road today. It just keeps on going. <laughs> and my legs are getting a little wobbly. And I got to hike back up the mountain. Here's the construction site off to my left. And uh, I just, uh, it's going to be a, a long hike back. And I'm hoping I'll get back to the, the uh, that piece of psychopath that we have not seen. And that'll be the next clip. Because uh, so we're going to do that over to Monogram Road. And, and that'll finish off the day. So good hike today. Good hike. I enjoyed it. I, sorry I got such a late start. I could, well, I'll have to look at the map when I get home and see where Champion Road actually ends up. Um, who, who knows? Then I get a quick clip on the way back. And I was right. I mean, I, I was thinking about what a great mountain bike path this would be. But man, oh man, I would want to be pedaling up this. I mean, for a long period of time, you'd just be going up, 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 up. You know, I can always go up a hill and then get to the top, you go down the hill. But this one just keeps going up. Now, that's why I said I, I'm pretty sure we were on split decision because we're just coming up on that trail. And I think it would have just probably brought me back to right here. So, but I'm still, I'm hoping to get up on that ridge here shortly. So, uh, and see what I'm talking about? So that could, this, this would wind around probably, this is what we were on at that, at that construction site. So, but I, I'm feeling it, climbing up, 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 up. I'll try not to cuss on these videos, but damn, <laughs> I've been going up. You know, when you're going down, you don't really realize you're going down. You know, I said, well, yeah, it probably won't be that bad. Man, it's a tough, it's a tough climb back up this thing. Whew. All right, next clip will be Psychopath, I promise. So I know I'm gonna regret this because my legs are tired. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, I could get, if we've already done this section of Champion Road and I, I wanted to finish off Psychopath, or at least this section of it. So I'm sure it's gonna be a Psychopath. <laughs> you don't name a trail that and not have it be a Psychopath. So uh, this is gonna be tough. I think I got enough sunlight. And uh, this is uh, from, the, from the map, it should connect me up to Monogram Road. And then I'll get a video when we get there. Uh, if I see anything on the path, you see how rocky it is. And uh, it's going to be a steep incline. I have a feeling I'm probably going to go all the way up to the top of this hill. And uh, so we'll just keep on this, try not to fall down again. Take it nice and slow. Wanted to get this clip. I mean, I am literally just going straight up the mountain. And of course, got to get through those leaves right there. See how slow I'm moving. Man, oh man, this is one psychopath. All right. All right, I just came up that. And I'm looking at this. I don't see, I wish I could see somebody's mountain bike this path. I just don't see how it's possible, but this, you can see the tire tracks. People have done it. I, back in the day, no way I could have biked the psychopath i mean you could see even the the bend where they've cut it in so that you can get you know come around that turn man i tell you i i wish i could get that on video but unfortunately well fortunately or unfortunately however you want to look at it i haven't seen a single person today hiking around here on liberty mountain well that's well i mean that's not true i saw somebody back at the complex uh, coming down um, monogram road but I, I don't count that i mean once i turned off into the woods and i'm still going up on psychopath all right but look at this i mean you can see the tire tracks somebody actually mountain biked this thing i couldn't i couldn't imagine i couldn't imagine so i'm still going up on psychopath but look i mean if you're mountain biking you'd hit that and then of course up here it's cut in also so uh i'll be glad when i I mean, going down is going to be just as just as crazy because then you can slip on these rocks and fall. 
I mean, you would never want to do this with a walking stick unless you're an idiot like me. All right, let's keep going. Well, I thought this was pretty cool. Continuing up. You know, if you're a mountain biker, the little, little, uh, some trick, uh, trick area here, you know, coming over the mountains, I couldn't do it. But, but uh, if, you could, if you could ride it, it'd be a hell of a lot of fun, I'm sure. I just, I, I just, I don't see how they don't kill themselves, but who am I? So I always get the weird stuff on the video. Who knows what that used to be? I've come up this, but here I wanted to show you this. These are the tire tracks that I'm talking about. Can you see them? Somebody actually rode this thing. I guess maybe once upon a time there might have been a trick ramp here. I just, uh, I can't picture the person that can ride this uh, trail. But, uh, and man, I tell you what, if they want to get on my channel, we'll make a video and I, that'll be a famous video because you, you got to be one insane and two buff beyond belief to ride this trail. I'm still going up. Psychopath. Hopefully you can hear me breathing. Here's a couple of more little trick ramps for the uh, mountain bikers. And uh, I think I'm still going up by the way, but I'm coming to the peak here. I mean, literally we are, we are riding the top of this mountain. And I can't wait to get this structure. That's probably, well, I'm guessing that's a cell tower. I don't know. That's, uh, we'll, we'll get it on the video when I get there. Up here on top of the mountain, this is the structure. When we get the tower on the, the video, I'd like to get the view from the top of the mountain. Might as well look off into the forest here. And then that's a Hughes, Hughes net. Of course, it's got these uh, fans here. Let's take a look at this side. Lots of cables going in, so that looks like it could probably be a cell phone tower. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get the view. Let's just walk around it. Might as well get the view all the way around. I know this is going to be two videos now because I'm taking, I'm taking too much video, but you got to get this view. So from the top of the mountain here, because uh, I mean, might as well, because I'll be watching this video myself. Because <laughs> it's not often I hike all the way up to the top of a mountain. But look at this. Look at that view. I guess get over here first and then uh, and then let's look down on Liberty University and I'm gonna go avail myself of that little isn't that beautiful that little gazebo right here at the top of the mountain so was it worth the hike up psycho psychopath I guess it was you know that is just gorgeous look at look at Liberty University from up here let's go down to the gazebo and get that on the video this looks like it might be fairly new. Well, now the roof's kind of chipped off there a little bit. Here we got somebody coming up. I can ask them what direction I got to go to get back. <clears throat> but this is uh, it's an incredible view. Let me uh, let me get the. Don't want to get them on the video. Let's let's hold on. Back of their heads on the video. Look at that view. You know, I I, I just realized where I'm at when you when you're driving along. The highway here, there's a huge symbol. It says Liberty, or Liberty, I think L LU. It might be just be LU. Look at the people down here playing soccer. And then look at the mountains off in the distance. I wonder if that's the peaks of Otter over here. Could be. And that'd be flat top maybe beside it. I don't know. Let's look over this way. Boy. Let's go down. There's a there's a monument right down here. Let's go down and read that. So Liberty Mountain, 1972. Nothing of eternal significance comes apart from prayer. Jerry Falwell. By the way, Jerry Falwell was a friend of my father's. Uh, in 1972, Dr. Jerry Falwell walked through the woods of Liberty Mountain, praying that the Lord would make it available to build an institution of higher learning with the sole purpose of training champions for Christ, Liberty University. The picture above reveals the view from this spot in those days. It is an unquestionable symbol of God's faithfulness to a man who trusted in him and turned that vision into reality. The area now serves as the home to Liberty University, Thomas Road Baptist Church, and Liberty Christian Academy, the fulfillment of the dream. Dr. Falwell loved Liberty Mountain. He grew up on it. He hunted on it as a child. During his last day on earth, he sat in this gazebo with his son, talking to Liberty students. 
the memory of his life remains for us an incur encouragement and a challenge. Don't tell God how big your mountains are. Tell the mountains how big your God is. Whew. Let's look at the view. This is So this is what it looked like back in 72, huh? Wow. And now look at it. Look, so you, you see how far the university stretches all the way across? It's incredible. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to go talk to these kids and try to find my way back. Because <laughs> I, I am tired after climbing that psychopath. Woo, that, was, that is definitely psychopath. All right. You know, I, <laughs> I just, you know, it just hit me. I was talking to two young people all right over here. And uh, look at the, look at this. This is all rock that they brought in to put this, this tribute on the side of the mountain to Liberty University and painted all the rocks. I mean, who in the heck, I mean, how do they all, just thousands upon thousands of rocks right here. Anyway, we're gonna, oh, this is, uh, by the way, this I found out, this is an indoor track. I'm telling you, Liberty's got it all. And this is an Olympic sized swimming pool over here at both indoor. And then, of course, those are the sand volleyball courts down there for the varsity. And then look at all these bushes that they plant. I'm probably not supposed to be in here. But we're going to actually get another trail in today. I'm going to take peak to peak. If that's going to run me to... Because we already did the, did the uh, one side of peak to peak. I uh, might as well finish it off. And, uh, and this will take us down to Monogram Road. Um, now, just so you know, from the gazebo here, Monogram Road goes this way. And then it swings on around and, and goes back to the uh, snowflex but uh, rather than take the uh, monogram road we might as well get one more hike in because uh, you know I, I, I like uh, I like hiking the trails even though I'm probably going to kill myself by the way I look at my hand uh, look at that I did cut myself when I fell so that's why uh, a walking stick is so important but let's let's take this nice and slow and head on back so I'm looking here and I think I can see Monogram Road down there. It says detour. I'm not sure I want to try that. Probably slip on them rocks, but I'm going to go left here just to, because I want to hike this peak to peak trail and say that I did it. So that's, a, that's probably just a detour off of the peak to peak trail. But there was no sign back there just to indicate which way to go. But you know, I do like this hike. Uh, you know, it's kind of a, you know, they're going down, of course, but uh, not not like uh, not like Psycho Trail. And uh, I went, met some young people up there in the gazebo, and uh, I said, "Man, I said I, I I could never have mountain biked to that trail." And they get, one of the guys goes, "He says I could have done it in my 20s." And I said, "Well, I'm I'm willing to admit that even in because I was a mountain biker, and even in my 20s, I wouldn't have tried that Psycho Trail. I, I don't think I could have done it." But you see how this is kind of winding around. This is a nice little. You know, a good way to get up to the uh, gazebo if you want to go up there. Uh, a lot easier than than Psycho, because uh, it's just kind of moving back and forth, uh, working working the way down the mountain. All right, this is uh, unless I see something unique, um, we'll just uh, cut the video off right there. Um, I'll get one more clip when we get to uh, Monogram Road. Wanted to get another clip of the Peak to Peak Trail, and uh, you can see we're coming up onto the backhoe of where we started today. Uh, so this, uh, if you want to get up to that gazebo or get up to the the uh, top of the mountain here, um, this would be a great way to go. I like this uh, Peak to Peak Trail. It's just kind of, it's a, a gradual, you know, back and forth uh, zig zigzaggy trail to just get you up to the top of the mountain. So uh, you don't you don't don't feel like I'm going to kill myself coming down this. So this is good. Just take it nice and slow. And you see, there are some loose rocks right here, but for the most part, you know, I'm getting up on. I'll be on Monogram Road here soon, and with, that'll be it for the day. We'll get a clip when we get there. But you can see, I mean, it, you're gonna you're gonna be get to your heart rate up climbing this trail for sure. But it's not it's not psycho. Well, this is where today began. <clears throat> this is peak to peak going that way, and then we just came off of peak to peak going up to the gazebo so uh, and I like that uh, I like that way up the mountain so there you go and I don't know what the backhoe's doing here we did champion road today so that was good all right you guys peace out stay free let's uh let's get the mantra now that I'm done for the day freedom oh freedom good to live in the free republican state of Florida where we have no 
vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no, uh, no mask requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. And by the way, I, today I'm at uh, Rock and Pride and no more masks, so that was, uh, that was good. I didn't know they were still masking here in Virginia, but it looks like the masks are coming off in this Republican state. So um, you guys peace out, stay free. And uh, I guess I'm gonna have to come up with a new mantra because it looks like uh, even some of the Democrats are letting go of their masks. I know it's hard for them. It's gonna be real hard on a Democrat. Uh, and by the way, if you are a Democrat, go to go to New York, go to California. They probably still have masks on there, and you can you'll fit right in. All right, bye. So I thought you'd want to see the LU from down below, and there's the gazebo where we were up there. Look at the size of that. Those are all rocks, painted rocks, massive. Oh well, let's get going.